we've designed a, a, an injection molded uh, face mask that we're hoping and help folks. So it's a, a liquid silicon rubber um, mask, uh, a material that can be um, sterilized through autoclaving, through uh, Clorox wipes, or even through alcohol wipes. Um, and it keeps and maintains those same material properties that we need for these masks. Um, not only that is that it can be reused and we would hope from tens to hundreds of times um, knowing that, that we're actually at, at a deficit uh, or a dwindling supply of these face masks currently in the hospital. Um, and a positive thing is that you can actually pop in and out these filters. So now it's popped in and then just taking it out. There, um, there are a number of major properties and, and um, one is that it's extremely flexible, so it can fit to a number of different face sizes and shapes. Um, two, we know that, that, as you just mentioned, it's um, indestructible or almost indestructible in that we can heat it up to really high temperatures to kill off the virus and then also dip it into either a bleach solution or an alcohol solution to kill off the virus itself or any bacteria. Right now, the, the material itself, the filter material is made out of N95. Uh, materials. These are all approved through the ASTM standards. And so um, for that uh, itself, um, unfortunately, we don't have a, a huge supply of these N95s quite yet. And so we're looking at other um, potential materials that can be used as filters. And so here at the Koch Institute, um, there's a slew of uh, folks that are working on this and trying to develop these new materials, testing their filter efficiency and see if they would be amenable to that uh, um, for use in the hospital. I would love to be able to get this out to, to our, our cancer patients and, and our prostate cancer patients in particular, just because I know treatments themselves could be delayed or uh, um, halted just because of what's ongoing right now. The major limiting factor is, is money and trying to, to um, uh, just because these, every iteration that we make on the, the mask itself um, costs about 18, 18 to $20,000. Um, I think if we were to, in about a week, I think we could be there in terms of the scalability. The fortunate thing is in, in terms of, of the system that we have, um, moving from the 3D printing, um, where you have a select number of materials to the injection molding is that it is hugely scalable. They can make this on hundreds of thousands um, if you're doing this in large quantity. And so you can have a reusable mask um, that can be reused from tens to hundreds of times. Now the filters themselves could be, once they're cut out and, and applied, they could be on the orders of, of you're talking about cents probably. Um, so this could be a, a much cheaper method to manufacturing and getting N95s out as long as we're able to meet certainly all of the standards.